Hi, this is Deanie from Hot Threads. And as promised, here is my um, tutorial for the concertina that I made. I will put the link below on the first finished one I had done. What you're going to need are pieces of cardboard and cover your cardboard with um, bits and pieces. I just went to my scraps bin. I have a little tin that I keep my scraps in and I just added those to it. I used film strip pieces and you don't have to do what I did with the film strip pieces. These will be the pockets. I um, did some embroidery floss and did some playing with that. You'll need um, some decorations. You can you don't have to use the fabric clusters. You can use any type of cluster or you can just use pictures. It's up to you. You're going to need a strip of fabric about I would say about 18 inches long maybe. Maybe not that big. And then a glue stick. That's all I needed. So here's what you do. Oh, and a stapler. I'm sorry. And I have someone um, filming this, T from T's Carta Studio, my sister. And thank you, T, for doing that. So what I did is I had cut my cardboard pieces into one size. And then I had taken my film strip, because I had I'd gotten some film strip to use. And I had cut that to size, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is just make pockets out of it. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. You can do it fancier, but what I just what I did was I just made sure I secured the pocket just like that. I won't have little tiny pieces in here, you know, just enough to hold the tag. So that's what I've done. And I'll do that here. If I can. And um, the stapler is as old as dirt it's from around when I was a kid, too. And sometimes it'll jam. So, and then I'll put the last one on here. I have to say, um, this is a fun project. It's a quick project. And I really never use staples in my work very often, but this works perfect for the film strips to me. So, I've got those three put together. So what I'm going to do is on the back where the staples are, because you know you can really injure yourself or the person you're gifting this to with the staples. I make sure I have enough room here. Is my camera person doing okay? Mm -hmm. I make sure I have enough room there and then I will put um, a piece there, snip that off and I don't know if I'll have enough and then I'll put another piece on top. So we're going to pause now. I'll, I'll um, get this put together and show you. Okay, plan B. We found another piece of fabric that's pretty cool. That will be long enough. You want to make sure it just goes end to end because this is what's going to hold your um, concertina together. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this and I'm going to glue it on with all you need. Seriously, I've made plenty of these is glue stick. Nothing fancy. You don't need the fancy glues and it will hold. And I bet school glue would work also. Anyway, I'm going to pause now and we'll be back. Okay, we're back and I had glued these down with glue stick and make sure you burnish it. I may have to add just a little bit more here with because of the way it landed, but you'll, you'll get the feel to it. Make sure they're even. And make sure you cover a few of your staples with the fabric so you don't end up injuring yourself or the person who receives this. And if you got a fancy glue you think will work better, you can use that too. I just use what I have and I believe in that practice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, you know, no scrap left behind clusters because that's how I am. And I'm going to put these on the back. And I don't mind that I'm covering up my, what I have back here because you know what? That's part of mixed media, isn't it? So I'm gonna add my fabric clusters to the back of this. And then I am going to, with this, make um, cut little squares or maybe rectangle like this. And I'm sorry, like this. And then I'm gonna fold it in half on the side so you can open the concertina easily. So let's do that. Here we are back. I did all my gluing and here's my cluster here and I had sewn 
the and my fabric cluster here this is the back and another fabric cluster here like I said you can do anything you like I just like to put my fabric clusters because I don't believe any scrap should be left behind and I glued on the two pieces of fabric to make the hinges make sure you have enough gap in there to close it and if you're going to put stuff in your pockets on the other side make sure there's enough there and I can't tell you how to do yours. I mean, if there's no right or wrong. You might find an easier way or a better way. And then on the back side, um, I just showed you that um, I had put in the um, little flaps here to the, um, oh, I'm trying to think, little handle type things, flaps that I made with the extra fabric. And then I had put in my sister's Tease Carta Studio and she made these really fun envelopes for me and I thought those would be fun to put in there just to show you that you can put some fun things inside so what you do is it'll fold in and it'll fold in and there you go I'll, I'll open it up for you again and here's the back so I think they're just kind of cute they're kind of fun so if you have a pen pal or a friend or somebody's birthday you can tuck some uh, cash card inside or you know the sky's the limit make fun tags to put in there you can also you know do your thing put images there you can do whatever you'd like but I just wanted to show you that the reason why I have the flaps is because if you don't have this little flap they're they're hard to open and that's my you don't have to do that but I did so there's the concertina I hope you enjoyed it I'm going to have a close-up of that and thank you, T, for doing the filming. Have a